हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ ए विक्टोरिया आनंद मेरी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर पी जी एंड रिसर्च डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस सेंट जोसफ कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड साइंस एटोनमस कडलूर इन दिस प्रसन्टेशन वी विल कवर सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग लाइक कैरेक्टर सेट इन सी आइडेंटिफायर्स एंड की वर्ड्स डेटा टाइप्स नाउ लेट सी ईच ऑफ द टॉपिक इन डिटेल फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर सेट इन सी Character set means the characters and symbols that a C program can understand and accept. These are grouped to form the commands, expressions, words, C statements, and other tokens in C language. Some of the types of character set are letters, digits, special characters. Letters C language comprises the following set of letters to form a standard program. They are upper case alphabets lower case alphabets in c programming small letters and capital letters are distinct that means different both are not same next is digits c language comprises the following sequence of numbers to associate the letters from 0 to 9 digits next is uh, special characters C language contain the following special characters in association with the letters and digits some of the symbols like till then symbol exclamation marks question marks dollar symbol are used in a program next topic would be identifiers and keywords identifiers are the sequence of characters used for naming the variables functions new data types some of the rules for naming the identifiers are listed let's see some of the rules first rule will be identifier can include letters that is upper case letters and lower case letters identifiers can be of digits decimal digits or normal digits 0 to 9 the first character of an identifier cannot be a digit that means the first character should be alphabet you can also include underscore symbol in between the identifiers lower case letters and upper case letters are different next keywords the keywords are the reserved words these reserved words should not be used for naming the identifiers some of the keywords are auto break characters size of private public and these key, uh, keywords should never be used while naming the function name variable name etc next topic is data types which is an important topic c program can store data using various data types like integer decimal number characters strings data type normally specify the type and size of data that the variable is going to hold or store we need we need to specify the data type of variable to store any data in it the different types of data in c are categorized into three main categories user defined data types primary data types secondary data types user defined data types are structure union enumeration primary data types are fundamental type are integer character float double secondary data types can otherwise called our derived data types are array and pointers let's see the primary type these data type are fundamental data types used in c programming first one integer it is used to store only integer values an integer typically is of 2 bytes which means it consumes the total of 16 bits in a memory next is character it stores single character such as capital letter either capital or small letter or spe- special symbols etc a character data type take up to 1 byte of memory space float it stores real number with precision up to 6 decimal points or places float data type takes 4 bytes of memory space double it stores real number with precision up to 15 decimal places double data types takes 8 bytes of memory space next one secondary data types 
these data types are declared by the user by deriving the system defined data types or predefined data type concepts first one array type it is set of similar data types stored in a sequential manner the main drawback of this type is that it can hold multiple datas but all the data datas should be of same data types or similar types next is pointers it is a variables or variable which hold the address of another variable finally we'll see the user defined data types these data types are defined by the user first one structure group of data types or data items combined together are called structure all the data items can be stored in an individual memory location each data item will be having its own memory memory locations union it is opposite to structure where group of data items combined together are called union all the data items can share unique memory location that means all the data items are going to share memory space among themselves enumeration these this data type allow declar uh, declaring string constants with integer equivalent values thank you